In this lesson, we're going to cover Unit 5, Acquisition 3, on oxidation numbers. So we'll start talking about what are oxidation numbers, and then you're going to get a whole bunch of rules. So we've talked a little bit about oxidation already. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. When we're talking about oxidation numbers, or an oxidation number, this is the charge that an atom would have if the compound was composed of ions. The charge an atom would have if the compound was composed of ions. So there's a whole bunch of rules we have to know. Rules for assigning oxidation numbers. And then as we go through these rules, I'm going to give you some examples as well. Rule number one. For an atom in its elemental form, The oxidation number is zero. So this is any element just by itself in its elemental form, not part of a compound. Like let's say we had solid aluminum. Its oxidation number would be zero. This includes like the diatomics. Elemental hydrogen is H2 its oxidation number would be zero. Rule number two. For any monatomic ion, prefix mono means one, so just one atom, one monatomic ion. The oxidation number is equal to its charge. So let's say I had the magnesium ion, it's monatomic. Its oxidation number is a positive two. Rule number three, hydrogen usually going to be plus one. It's positive one when bonded to non-metals. The oxidation number of hydrogen is negative one when bonded to metals. So let's say we had methane, CH4. Carbon is a non-metal. That means that each hydrogen would have an oxidation number of positive one. If hydrogen is bonded to a non-metal like carbon, its oxidation number is plus one. 
let's say hydrogen was bonded to sodium. Sodium is a metal. If it's bonded to a metal, the oxidation number of hydrogen would be negative one. Rule number four. The metals in group one have an oxidation number of plus one equal to their charge. The metals in group two have an oxidation number of plus two. Again, equal to their charge. Let's say we had sodium sulfide. Sodium is a group one metal. Group one metals have an oxidation number of positive Let's say we had magnesium sulfide. Magnesium is a group two metal. Its oxidation number would be plus two. Rule number five. The halogens. Group seven on the periodic table. usually have an oxidation number of negative one. Let's say we have magnesium chloride. Chlorine is a halogen. It is in group seven. Halogens usually have an oxidation number of minus one. Rule number six. Oxygen usually has an oxidation number of negative two. Let's say I had magnesium oxide. Oxygen would be negative too. There is one exception. Peroxides. Let's say I had hydrogen peroxide. This is a case where oxygen can actually be negative one. So it is usually negative two, not always. All right, so those are the main ones to know. No hydrogen, oxygen, group one, group two, group seven. Everything else we're going to work backwards to figure out. Rule seven. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a neutral compound. is zero. Let's say I had methane, CH4. We don't have a rule for carbon, but I do have a rule for 
hydrogen. Hydrogen is plus one when bonded to non-metals. Carbon is a non-metal. We also want to take into account the number of hydrogens that I have. So I have four hydrogens, each with an oxidation number of positive one. the sum of my oxidation numbers must equal zero. So what does carbon have to be? Carbon must have an oxidation number of negative four. One thing to keep in mind, if this question um, were on a master in chemistry or an exam or a quiz, the oxidation number of hydrogen would be positive one. You would want to list the oxidation number of each individual hydrogen, not all of the hydrogens together. Last rule. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion. So let's say we had the polyatomic ion nitrate, NO3 minus 1. We don't have a rule for nitrogen, so I'm going to skip it for now. Based on my formula, I have three oxygens. Oxygen usually has an oxidation number of minus two, unless it's part of a peroxide. Three oxygens, each with a negative two, gives me negative six. Well, now I'm not trying to get to zero. When I add up all of my oxidation numbers, it should be equal to the charge of the ion. My charge is negative one. So now we can work backwards. X plus negative six equals negative one. Nitrogen must have an oxidation number of positive five. Let's just do um, one example of five parts. Determine which of the following has the highest oxidation number of sulfur. So this is a good problem because it covers a lot of the rules. So for the first one, sulfur is a non-metal. I have two hydrogens based on my formula. When hydrogen is bonded to a non-metal, its oxidation number is positive one. The sum of my oxidation numbers must equal zero because this is a neutral compound. In A, sulfur has to have an oxidation number of negative two. In B, S8 is actually the elemental form of sulfur. An atom in its elemental form has an oxidation number of zero. C, 
chlorine is in group 7. It is a halogen. I have two chlorines. Halogens have an oxidation number of minus 1. I know the sum of my oxidation numbers have to equal zero. Therefore, sulfur is positive two. D, sodium is a group one metal. Group one metals have an oxidation number of plus one, and I have two sodium, so that gives me a plus two. I'm gonna skip sulfur, let's look at oxygen four oxygens. Oxygen is bonded to sulfur. This is the sulfate ion. So unless it's a peroxide, oxygen usually has an oxidation number of negative two. Four times negative two gives me negative eight. The sum of all of my oxidation numbers has to equal zero. So that means sulfur would be a positive six. Last one, three oxygens, each with an oxidation number of negative two gives me negative six. But now for this one, the sum of my oxidation numbers must equal the charge of the polyatomic ion. So in this case, sulfur would be positive four. So my answers are negative two, zero, positive 2, positive 6, and positive 4. So now we can finally answer the question, which has the highest oxidation number of sulfur? The answer would be D with an oxidation number of positive 6.